Yeah. All right, everybody. Welcome to another episode of Kilt Built. I am the Holland Trickster, and this is, well, you know, Kilt Built. So, we're going to do the weekly progress report, but because I'm a giant slacker, two or three weeks all in one. So, uh, as always, here's my fat, nasty self. Try to hide a little bit. And today, Kilt Belt is khaki belt, and you're just going to have to get over it. So, uh, let's give you a little show. And, well, that's not what I wanted. So, open a new window. Drag this bad boy back over here. No Gmail. Oh, apparently I got a lot of vaccines I gotta get on. Nope. Come on. There we go. To the tracker here's mine so as you can see especially if you're on the youtube channel a15 <laughs> down to today 9 4 so oh, looks like i'm looking at myself on the other laptop there so for here you can see i'll just show my weekly steps <sighs> Everything was doing good then. <laughs> you know, we added weight, calories, protein, carbs, and fat. Uh, been pretty good tracking that, except for here and here. On uh, 831 and 9-1, I was doing clinicals, and honestly, I just fell off. I was a bit lazy. You can see things kind of fell apart. Uh, I'm making the YouTube videos now. But let's go to this week. So, 274, still about there. Uh, as I've told you guys, I'll start fasting once a week. And I've made it a little loose. I've allowed myself to eat liquid calories. But I can't get stupid with it and just make a giant smoothie and say that I fasted it's usually just you know i'll have like a protein drink or whatever if i get hungry uh wake time was pretty good two days a little later into the day but it's also the weekend did not do any push-ups now along with that i'm doing the center workout that i actually really really like um and there's a lot of push-ups involved there i haven't been counting them so that's why this is the way it is. Uh, <clears throat> this week I started to improve it. I'm going to knock out a few more. And I'll get that satisfied. But you can also see my wake time fell apart. Started off good. Got awful. Stayed awful. So, nine minutes over on my average there. So, this, like I said, this will go green. So this this I'm doing solid. This I'm doing solid. I couldn't do power lifting, so that's why that's blocked out here. Uh, I was gone most of the week doing a clinical in another part of the state. I had a gym in the hotel, but I didn't have the facilities to do everything that I wanted. Uh, and they didn't have like a straight bar or a squat rack or anything like that. So I focused on the center, focused on doing some push-ups. And uh, other types of working out that's not on the tracker, but academic work, you know, knocked it out of the park, hit my mark, and by the end of the day, this is going to be up there too. YouTube video videos, not doing good. Steps, not doing good. Same is going to be here, but the problem with this week is the hospital I was working at didn't allow me to have my cell phone or my Fitbit watch. Oh, sorry, my Apple watch. So, these steps are misleading. 
these are only the steps I could do with my watch on, and that's before, you know, I was in the hospital and walking around all over the place. So, realistically, I've made my goal, but that's why this is blacked out, because <sighs> there's just, there's just no way to keep accurate. I didn't want to guess, you know, with how many steps I was making, because can't just be accountable, and then I did also didn't want to have everything fall apart and try to kill myself to make the, uh, you know, 70,000 70, steps a week or 10,000 a day, so I left it as it is. Now, will I go outside and maybe try to go on that massive walk to hit it anyway? Probably. So, stay tuned and... Watch out for an update later in the week. Uh, YouTube videos, I was doing good. Stopped. You know, I plan on knocking them all out today. Thank you for coming to this one. But, that's something I need to get on. And you know, powerlifting. I always do that, except for this week. So, I had a monthly meeting with the guys I do this with. And, you know... I've been thinking about changing this up a bit uh, because push-ups and cardio both kind of gets covered by the center app. I've decided cha to possibly change push-ups in and maybe even cardio into like sleep time and what my Apple Watch how long it says I actually sleep, so I can compare you know my get after it time. So I might change it, just change the wake time. But with that and a uh, sleep time, I can kind of gauge how much I might be sleeping and compare it with what my what my the app on my watch says. Because some nights I'll go to bed and feel like you know I went to bed at a decent hour, got up at a decent hour, and it'll be saying you only slept four hours or you only slept six hours, where in those two respective, I might have slept anywhere from six to eight. Or, on a really wild night, nine. And, if I'm if I'm laying down and I'm going to sleep for eight hours, and my watch is telling me that I'm getting four to five hours of sleep, and that's not even talking about what it registers as restful sleep, something's wrong, and I need to work on it. So, Watch out for the coming weeks. Next week, I'll probably have like a slightly redone um, list. I got rid of one of my goals. Uh, I need to find a. I need to enter a way to actually measure the lower screen time metric. I have an app on my phone. It tells me whether I'm up or down, but I haven't been keeping track of it. So I gotta get more familiar with that to see if I need to add something on the tracker or if I just need to like or if it's something I can just yes no based on my app uh, this martial arts you know, I just need to get more involved but this needs to be an actual outcome you know test for a belt you know go competing something it's like stand up let's do a stand up an open mic you know that if it's go if Spots on the tracker needs to be something like written, wrote material, practice material. Maybe, you know, film yourself, practice for, in front of some people, you know, get things going. Uh, and then learn the keyboard also. Probably something that needs to go on the tracker. I have the keyboard. I have the area to set it up. It's just about grinding it out and making things priority. Like, school started. It's my last semester, you know. <laughs> Starting the third week, things are starting to flounder, so I need to focus on priorities and work towards outcomes. Um, so, yeah, um, this is the weight loss has been going pretty good. Uh, some things I'm doing seem to be out working pretty good. Uh, you know, the powerlifting, I'm staying kind of strong. Center app, you know, I have it set to. A setting that's making me overall more fit. I can move better. I'm more flexible. Uh, you know, I have better endurance. 
I'm also eating better, eating cleaner. As my weight's going down, I'm changing it so I'm eating less calories, but I'm trying to stay in the same, you know, macros. Um, and for the most part, except for these, like, nasty days right here that hopefully rarely pop up, I'm doing pretty solid. And the fasting and intermittent fasting really seems to help. Um, on days like today, where I measure myself, I've been fasting for 24 hours. You know, I feel like it's a fairly accurate representation of what my weight is. So, you know, if anybody has any suggestions, you know, bitch moans, complaints, or gripes, my page has a comment section. Love to hear from you. Hope you like the video. Simplify, carry on.